Hello everyone, my name is Confidence and it's great to have you here. In this video, we're going to take a look at the menu widget and I'm going to show you some ways in which you can configure it and customize it. For us to get started, let's bring in a new menu widget from the widget section. So I'm just going to drag this right here and we have a menu widget showing up on the canvas. The first property we have here is the label and we can choose to type in some text which will show up as the label for the menu widget or we can do some binding to bring in the text value from a different entity in AppSmith to display on the menu widget. Uh, let's edit this to say menu and there we have menu showing up as the label for the menu widget. The next property we have is the background color. We can choose to specify a color by entering the color name or hex value, or we can select from any of these predefined colors. So we can set this to green, and there we have a green menu showing up. So let's set this back to white. We can also specify the text color, and this will be the color of the text showing up right here on the menu widget. So we can set this to something like blue, and here we have a blue text showing up on the menu widget. We can also specify the disabled state by toggling on this um, switch on or off. The same goes for the visibility and for the compact mode. The compact mode specifies how much space the menu items would take up. So that's for the compact mode. Let's um, set this back to off. And for any of these properties, we can go into the JavaScript mode and write some JavaScript logic that would dynamically toggle that property on or off. So let's set this back. Moving on, we have the menu items and these are the items that show up when you click on the menu. So right here, we have three default items. You can click on the plus button to create a new menu item and this can be fully customizable. So we can edit the name right here from within the menu widget or we can go in to have full access to edit that property. So right now we are editing the first property and we have updated the name to say first. We can specify a background color for this property. So let's set this to yellow. And taking a look at this, you see that we have a yellow background for that menu item. Uh, we can also specify the text color. And similarly, we can supply a color name or a hex value, or we can choose from any of these predefined colors. And we can set it to be disabled. So we can toggle this on to be disabled. We can also set the visibility. And similarly, with the menu widget itself, we can use JavaScript to determine any of these states by going to the JavaScript mode. One cool thing we can do is to specify an icon for these menu items. So we can choose to set an icon, say uh, this icon, for example. And taking a look at this, you see that we have an icon showing up on the menu item. We can also set a color for the icon. So let's set this to red and taking a look at this, you see that we have a red icon showing. We can specify the icon alignment with respect to the text. So we can make the icon to be right aligned by clicking on, by clicking on the right arrow and taking a look at that, we have the icon to the right and we can take this back to the left by clicking on the left alignment and taking a look at this, we have this back um, to the left of the text. We can also choose to run an action whenever this specific menu item is clicked on. So we can choose to run any of these predefined actions or we can go into the JavaScript mode and write some JS logic for whatever action we want to be executed whenever this specific menu item is clicked on. And the same also goes for the other menu items we have on the list. Going back to the menu configuration itself, we also have the icon option. So we can, uh, like we did for the menu items, specify an icon for the menu widget itself. So we can choose from any of these icons like we did, or we can also search for an icon. So I have my favorite icon, which is console. Let's set that to console. And here we have a console icon showing up on the menu widget. We can also specify a color for this, like we did for the menu item. So we can set this to whatever color we like. I think I like the black color, so let's set that to the black. And lastly, we can also specify the icon alignment with respect to the text. So we can set this to the left, which is already left aligned, or we can move this to the right by clicking on the right align. And here we have it right aligned with respect to the text. So let's reduce this a bit. And there we have a nice looking menu widget. Awesome. So this has been the menu widget. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please leave a like and get subscribed. I'll see you in the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.